Hello, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. For premium picks, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about the NBA Finals. I believe there's a clear pick on the board for gamblers who understand the odds. Right now, you have two teams, the Miami Heat, San Antonio Spurs. Now, if you've been following my videos dating back to at least March the 2nd, you'll know that we've been on the Spurs for several weeks. Well, right here, after game one, in which the Spurs beat the Heat in Miami, and of course, this is after sweeping the Memphis Grizzlies in the Western Conference Finals. Somehow, you can still get the Spurs to win the series at a European odds here, 1.77. In other words, bet a dollar to get back $1.77. Slightly less than even money odds. I think this bet is compelling. I believe the Miami Heat are overrated, right? Obviously, if you've been tracking the videos, you probably have the Spurs in the series at at least plus 200. Two to one odds, right? But even here, if you missed that bet, even here, you're getting significant value. As the gamblers watching this video know, forget what the public thinks. If the Miami Heat lose game two, this series is over. Think about it. Not only that, Tim Duncan right now has four reigns. Greg Popovich has four reigns. This is a veteran spur team. Forget the core of Ginobili, Parker, and Duncan. You have some other vets on this team, Boris Diaw, for example, who understand that when you have an opportunity to take out an opponent, you've got to take it, right? Now, my point is this. I don't know who wins game two, but what I do know is that given that the Spurs, even if they lose game two, will continue to have home court advantage in this series, and given that the Miami Heat, even with LeBron James getting 18 boards, think about that, 18 boards, a triple-double, still lost at home. I get the feeling that if LeBron returns to earth, isn't putting up triple-double numbers, isn't dominating the glass, I get the fe feeling that the Miami Heat will fall apart. I like the San Antonio Spurs here on a series prop. I also like the Spurs. This is a little bit more risky and controversial. At plus six for game two. Right. Keep in mind, the teams put up only about 180 points in game one. Six points is a lot when neither team is scoring that many points. Also, with Tony Parker dominating the fourth quarter, with the Spurs outscoring the Heat in the fourth quarter, why isn't game two going to be simply a continuation of game one? So I like two bets here. I like the Spurs to win the series at a 1.77. I think that's compelling value. I also like the San Antonio Spurs at plus six in game two. Keep in mind, they don't have to win. They only have to lose by six points or less, and you either get a push or an outright win on a point spread play. Now, I know the Miami people will say, we haven't lost two games in a row all year. Well, you haven't played the San Antonio Spurs in this situation all year. The Spurs are not 
the Chicago Bulls. The Spurs are not the Indiana Pacers. And let's get real for a second. The Pacers stretched this Heat team out to seven games. If there was ever a discussion on where the Heat belong in the annals of NBA history, Roy Hibbert's performance in the Eastern Conference Finals should put that to rest. Roy Hibbert's a decent player, 13 and 10 during the regular season. He looked so good against Miami Heat that one can only wonder what a Moses Malone would look like against them, what a Shaquille O'Neal would look like against them, what a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would look like against them, what a Akeem Olajuwon would look like against them, what a Willis Reed would look like against them. Quite frankly, I believe the Heat have no answers inside the paint. If you're a Spur fan, you understand that the combination of Tim Duncan and Tiago Splitter is quite a combination. Keep in mind, too, both of those guys were asleep at the wheel in the first quarter of Game 1. By the end of the fourth quarter, San Antonio had won the game. Right, So if you're a Heat fan, just understand, it's time to get nervous. If you're a gambler, I think the casino is giving you a gift here by giving you the team with the home court advantage. Keep in mind, too, the Spurs have won at least six games in a row. Right, The Spurs are peaking. They just took home court advantage. And they're still giving you a 1.77 on this pick. I say take it. I like the Spurs to win the series. I like the Spurs getting six points for game two in Miami. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for us here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and wirevip.com on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Thanks for stopping by.